Boyd Epley was born in Nebraska and moved to Phoenix, Arizona in the fifth grade. His interest in weightlifting began in high school, where he trained with a classmate who later went on to win numerous weightlifting competitions. Boyd's athletic prowess in track and field led him to attend Phoenix Junior College, where he was a track team captain. His event was the pole vault. After graduating in 1968 with his associate's degree, Boyd attended the University of Nebraska and was the university's first 15-foot indoor vaulter. He also became the university's pole vault record holder his junior year. A back injury ended his track and field career. Little did he know that this back injury would lead him to a lucrative career in strength and conditioning. In order to rehabilitate his back, Boyd began spending a considerable amount of time working out in the university's small 916 square foot weight room. Soon a group of football players who were also rehabbing began joining him in his training. Tom Osborne, then an assistant coach, noticed that the injured players seemed to be returning to the playing field much earlier than they had previously and approached Boyd about working with the entire football team not just with the injured players. The head coach, Bob Devaney, was skeptical, but agreed to give Epley a one semester trial period. On September 15, 1969, the University of Nebraska hired Boyd, making it the first university with a paid strength conditioning coaching position. Epley's ideas were innovative and revolutionary at a time when many position coaches considered weight training to be detrimental to the flexibility and mobility of their athletes. Terms like muscle bound were used as arguments against strength training for competitive athletes. Soon, however, the success of the University of Nebraska's muscular, well-developed football players was undeniable. Prior to bringing on Epley, the team had endured two very mediocre seasons, including a 47-0 loss to the University of Oklahoma. After Coach Epley's first season with the Huskers, Nebraska had a 9-3 season and made an appearance at the Sun Bowl. Now, not only that, but Nebraska won back-to-back -back national championships in 1970 and 71. Coach Devaney was now a believer in the Epley magic. After that, not only did Boyd receive a large pay increase and added respect, but the University of Nebraska also began providing Epley with the resources needed to make its weight room and Boyd's strength and conditioning program the gold standard for other universities to follow. Coach Epley developed a program in which he incorporated techniques from powerlifting, emphasizing the squat, and from the explosive Olympic lifts. He also incorporated the implementation of the vertical jump as an important testing tool. Epley's strong belief in the importance and value of a solid strength and conditioning program led him to start a professional organization for others who were interested in pursuing a career in this new field. It was called the National Strength Coaches Association, NSCA. Boyd served as the organization's first president and as the chairman of the board of directors for five years. Coach Epley was presented with the association's first National Strength and Conditioning Coach of the Year Award in 1980. During Coach Epley's 40 plus years at the University of Nebraska, he was the mentor for many top strength and conditioning coaches in the field today on both the collegiate and the professional level. Many consider him to be the father of modern strength and conditioning because of the significant influence he has had on the development of this profession. Indeed, on the cover of the 2001 edition of the American Monthly Football Magazine, he's featured as the godfather of strength and conditioning. Whatever he's called, Boyd Epley's name is truly synonymous with strength and conditioning. During Coach Epley's extensive career, he also received the Teacher's Bell Award for 17 years of teaching service from the Dean of Nebraska Teachers College. He was also the recipient of the 1993 Lifetime Achievement Award from the NSCA, the first ever given. He was also inducted into the Nebraska Football Hall of Fame that same year. In 99, he was named one of college football's top 100 most important people in the century. In 2001, the weight room of his alma mater, Phoenix College, was named the Boyd Epley Strength Center. 
That same year, an original board member of the Collegiate Strength and Conditioning Coaches Association, Coach Epley was one of the first 10 individuals to receive the prestigious title of Master Strength and Conditioning Coach. Two years later, he was inducted into the USA Strength and Conditioning Coaches Hall of Fame. In addition to Coach Epley's dedication to the strength and conditioning profession, he is also a devoted family man. He and his wife Jane have two children, Jay Robert and Jenna Shea, in whom they take great pride.